Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matutok kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Matatag Curriculum, Math 5, Quarter 1, Lesson 4. Our topic for today is about multiplication of fractions. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! Learning Competencies and Objectives Visualize multiplication of fractions using models. Multiply a fraction by a fraction. Contents Multiplication of fractions Number 1. Multiplication of fractions using models. Number 2. Multiplication of fraction by a fraction. Let's have a short review. Answer the following. A. 3 fourths and 3 fourths. B. 7 fourths plus 7 fourths plus 7 fourths. And here's the answer for our short review. A. 6 fourths or 3 halves. B. 21 thirteenths or 3 halves. Let us take the following problem given in our review. Use fraction bars to illustrate 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. And here's the answer. Three fourths plus three fourths. This picture shows that multiplication is just adding the same number again and again. For example, three times four means adding four three times. Four plus four plus four. That is two times three fourths equals three fourths plus three fourths equals. 6 fourths or 3 halves or 1 and 1 half. Rewrite 7 fourths plus 7 fourths plus 7 fourths as product. The answer 3 times 7 fourths equals 21 fourths or 3 halves. Based on the examples, what rule can you make when multiplying a whole number and a fraction? The answer, multiply the whole number to the numerator, then copy the denominator. Find the product of the following. A, 5 times 6 sevenths. B, 2 times 2 elevenths. C, 1 half times 2 thirds. And here's the answer. A, B, and C. Unlocking Content Area Vocabulary Multiplication is Repeated Addition Multiplication of fraction has a similar concept as in multiplication of whole numbers. The product of a whole number and a fraction is a times C over D equals AC over D.
the product of a fraction and a whole number is C over D times A equals C A over D. The product one third times nine means one third of nine. For any fractions A over B and C over D, A over B times C over D equals AC over BD. The product one third times one fifth means one third of one fifth. Day one to two, subtopic number one. Multiplication of fractions using models. What is one half of six? The answer three. What is one half of two thirds? The answer one third. Example number one. On their TLE class, Ria bought two-third meter of cloth. She used one half of it in her project. How many meters of cloth remained? What is one half of two-third meter of cloth? Use rectangular model or fraction bar to illustrate two-third meter of cloth. And here's rectangular model. Shade two-third of the rectangular model using a different color. From the shaded figure, Look at the overlapping shaded parts. And here's the overlapping shaded parts. Thus, one half of two thirds equals two six is equivalent to one half times two third equals two six. The remaining cloth of Rhea is two-sixths or one-third. Example number two. Multiply. Two-third times one-fifteenth equals two-fifteenth. Example number four. Two-sevenths times one-fourth equals two twenty-eighths plus one fourteenth. One fourteenth is the lowest term. Lesson activity number one, use the illustration in finding the product. One third times three fourth equals blank number two one half times five eighths equals blank Number three, three fourths times five sixths equals blank. Number four, one half times three sevenths equals blank. And here's lesson activity number one, answer.
Day 3 to 4, subtopic number 1, multiplication of fraction by a fraction. Learning how to multiply fractions, step by step. The box is split into small squares. First, two out of three parts across the top are colored green. That's two-thirds. Next, one out of five parts going down is colored brown. That's one-fifth. Two-third times one-fifth is equal to two-fifteenths. Where green and brown cross, you see two tiny squares that are double colored. This one. The whole box has 15 squares in total. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's correct. Only two squares are double colored. This part, green and brown. So, two third times one fifth is equal to two fifteenths. Easy trick. Multiply the tops. Two times one equals two. Multiply the bottoms. Three times five equals fifteen. That will give you two fifteenths. Two-thirds times one-fifth is equal to two-fifteenths. Numerators are two and one. Thus, two times one is equal to two. The denominators are three and five. Therefore, three times five is equal to fifteen. The product of the two fraction is two-fifteenths. Example number 2. 5 sixths times 2 third is equal to 5 times 2, 6 times 3. Equals 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 3 is 18. Equals 5 over 9. Or 5 ninths. Example number 3. Cancellation method can also be used in multiplying fractions. This can be applied if the given fractions have greatest common factors or GCF. Let's take a look at the given examples. 1 half times 2 fifth. Cancel common factors using GCF. The GCF of 2 and 2 is 2. So that is 1 times 1 equals 1. 1 times 5 equals 5. It will give you 1 fifth. Example number 4. 6 tenths times 2 fourths. Cancel the common factors using GCF. The GCF of 2 and 10 is 2. The GCF of 6 and 4 is 2. 3 times 1 equals 3. 5 times 2 equals 10. Lesson activity number 2. Solve for the password. Princess Hannah is in need of help. For her to escape from the bad wolf, she needs to solve the password, which is the name of the wolf. By solving the following problems about multiplication of fractions, let us help Princess Hannah to decode the name of the wolf. To solve for the password, you need to answer the following.
And here's the answer for the lesson activity number 2. Now, since we already have the answers, let's decode the name of the wolf. What's your answer? Wow! So, the answer is Pain Man. Lesson activity number 3. Part A, find the products. And part B, answer the following. Answers for Lesson Activity 3, Part A and Part B. Learners' Takeaways What I Learned About Multiplication of Fractions Answer the following. What I learned about multiplication of fractions. One way to multiply fractions is by making use of cross-cancellation. Another method is multiplying fractions is simplifying method wherein the numerator and denominator have GCF. To multiply fractions, multiply the numerators as well as the denominators and express the answer in lowest terms. Reflection on learning Answer the following questions. How can we connect this lesson to our everyday lives? And cite instances where knowledge of multiplication of fraction is useful in practical context. Day 5. Formative Assessment Part A. Use illustrations to find the product. Here's numbers 1 to 3. Part B, multiply the following fractions. Here's numbers 1 to 5. And here's the answer for our formative assessment. Maraming salamat sa panonood! Huwag kalimutang i-like at mag-subscribe para sa higit pang educational content. I-click ang bell icon para ma-update ka sa ating mga bagong video. Salamat!